Hi right, guys, it is another spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise here at the end of the dirt road in the swamp in Dunallen, Florida where it is now a brisk 84 degrees here on Saturday, November 11th, 2023 maybe we will not be having the third record-breaking hot temperature down here so uh anyway since i have been busting my ass non-stop for a week i just said it okay hamon you are gonna sit on your clueless ass all day today you're not gonna lift anything you're not gonna go dragging a bunch of shit around well i made it tell well i made it tell about one o'clock uh was sitting around so i'm sitting around on my ass i made it three hours sitting on my uh sitting on my ass and i'm on the the mainstream media and, and i can't make this shit up one of the articles i read was i wish i could remember the exact title of it so what it it had a picture of some big fat clueless moron you know sitting uh in a chair uh <clears throat> with a dumb look on his face and the article was something like how to how to keep from sitting on your clueless fat ass in a chair all day you know talking about i was just having this conversation with a slim trim buddy of mine a couple of days ago about all of the health effects for these fat clueless morons who sit on their fat asses you know in front of computers or whatever all day and all of the damn health effects that it uh piling up so this article was, was literally, you know, as I was sitting on my clueless moron ass in a chair reading tips on how to stop sitting in a chair all day. Uh, like, huh, how do I stop sitting in this chair all day? I'm going to go on the mainstream media and I'm gonna spend 10 minutes more sitting on my ass in this chair, figuring out how to get out of a chair. Uh, <laughs> oh God, we're so fucked. And uh, so anyway, uh, speaking of, of collapsing and into, into uh, chairs, all I need is to have a damn wreck here with some old blue hair. Uh, so last night, I, you know, I come back from collapsing in my chair on the dock watching the sunset and uh, just completely fucking exhausted from one solid week doing more exercise in one week, I would say, than... 80% of guys half my age have done in the past month. Uh, and so I go over there on, uh, on, on YouTube uh, and, and start watching these, you know, these various videos from people down in, 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 in different rabbit holes with, uh, you know, with these crazy beliefs that everybody else just uh, ignores and and doesn't want to talk uh, to these lunatics. So, of course, I, I start out at Environmental Coffee House with uh, my dear friends uh, Sandy Shellis and Jennifer Hines, you know, on their Friday show. I guess they were... You know, talking about the methane bomb and Greenland melting and all of this shit. 
uh, all, all of this crazy ass doomer talk uh, you know seeing all my old friends over there in the chat box uh, the doomer friends and so all these doomers down in their little rabbit hole talking talking their doom and gloom and rising sea levels and whatever the hell else uh, going on over there in the doomosphere and then this video you know where they have these recommended videos or whatever comes up about uh, these near-death experiences and I I'm really interested in this subject. I don't know why I am so interested in uh, what happens to you after uh, you die. And so it sounded like a really good one. I can't remember the name of it. Interviewing, you know, one of these uh, <clears throat> near people who had an NDE and were clinically dead. This was actually a woman who drowned. And she was talking about where, she, you know, she drowns and is clinically dead. I, it, it was unclear for how long she was out before, quote, being brought back to life. And, you know, she gets into talking about being, literally being in the arms of Jesus. And I went, ah, fuck. And I about turned it off, but I, you know, I wanted to listen to this because I've probably listened to 200 of these near-death experience videos, and I don't know how many of them talk about literally, literally being held in the arms of Jesus, and how many of them n never fucking mention Jesus. Jesus has nothing to do on any level with what happens to them after they die. This is kind of like uh, no, no shit Sherlock. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure some uh, goddamn uh, what, some goddamn Muslim dude, uh, you know, wanting to wind up between the legs of 40 virgins when he dies uh, is not going to have an NDE that has anything to do with goddamn Jesus. And, you know, so, so many of these uh, NDEs have these similarities, but, you know, it, it's the differences in the stories. But, uh, you know, she was 100% convinced that she was uh, lying in the arms of Jesus, and, and there were like, I don't know how many, hundreds of thousands of hits on this video and thousands of thumbs up, and, and, and all of these clueless fucking moron Christians, uh, you know, coming in on the comments, uh, talking about... Uh, dying and lying in the, in the arms of Jesus and, and, and all of this crap when you die. Uh, and, uh, and I'm just thinking, you know, how many millions, if not billions of people on this planet uh, are believing this shit, are agreeing with these people. They're clearly... Uh, fucking insane thinking that they're gonna goddamn die and end up in the arms of fucking Jesus ain't gonna happen people and, and uh, anybody uh, with, with a goddamn brain uh, knows knows this uh, you know the, these NDEs uh, I am uh, convinced uh, just like I am with this bullshit alien abduction stuff that uh, what it is, is DMT, that when you die, uh, your pineal gland just gives you your last mega dose of DMT, uh, and, it, and it, it floods your whole brain, uh, you know, to help your passage uh, in, in, into death, and of course, 
you know, your whatever cultural programming or whatever fucking rabbit hole and belief system you're in is going to be amplified in your in your final moments. Uh, you know, between life and death, the last thing you're going to have is this massive mega DMT trip. That's what these near-death experiences are every bit as much as the vast majority of these alien abduction uh, <coughs> experiences. But, but the, you know, nobody wants to hear it. Uh, that woman doesn't want to hear what it is any more than these goddamn alien abductees such as myself. Uh, you know, so, and I'm thinking, you know, good God, just, just how these people can, you know, find their way from the goddamn uh, bed to the toilet every morning uh, with, without getting lost and ending up in the fucking arms of Jesus. Uh... And uh, but then I go uh, from I, I I go from that uh, I go from that over to this Vice news story with over three million hits, and they're talking about this group of people never heard this term in my entire life called targeted individuals targeted individuals it was this 48 minute documentary i made it i made it 19 minutes of this horseshit and and what this is is about the this growing number of people uh who believe you know the these paranoid schizophrenics uh, these obviously uh, paranoid people, not sure they're literally schizophrenic or not, but uh, and, and, and they think that they're being followed, you know, that they've been targeted by, but they, none of them could really explain who the hell was targeting them. Uh, but they, you know, of course, they have the implants that whoever is targeting them, whether, it, although they didn't mention space aliens in the first 19 minutes, whether it is some military program, some psyops that, uh, that, that they're having, you know, messages uh, put in their brains and they're being bombarded with, they're being bombarded with, uh, I don't know, this, uh, one of these was directed energy. Have you ever heard of that? This crazy bitch talking about, uh, <clears throat> being bombarded with directed energy and and she wears a damn like a lead suit and a and a helmet when she goes to bed at night and uh d d this absolute crazy shit and then they finally uh it's when this guy uh, mentioned the term Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is when uh, I'd had enough 19 minutes into it and, 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 and couldn't take it anymore. That, that you know, these people, uh, anybody with, with a fucking brain knows that, the, that these are paranoid, mentally ill lunatics with these obviously this break with reality that uh, they, they, they have no clue what's fucking going on they're, they're these people that you know who lead these puny little teeny weeny uh, lives with, with no point no purpose 
and this makes them feel self-important. As you know, it's back to the to the teachings of Don Juan and Carlos Castaneda. It's all about self-importance. It gives them self-importance to think that the, 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 the fucking military or the cops or or the bug or the jar shakers uh, or the jar shakers behind Agenda 21 uh, really give a flying fuck uh, that you know that Joe Schmo uh, you know living in some suburban neighborhood like this uh, that they really give a fuck. We are, we're, every one of us are targeted individuals. We're being targeted by the marketing uh, bots on, on all of our little gadgets to sell us shit. Uh, so yes, every single human being uh, is a fucking targeted individual. Uh, so, uh, the, the powers that be can sell us shit, uh, I don't know, like lead-lined suits and, uh, and, and, and fucking helmets to, to wear to bed and, and, and all of this completely useless, pointless crap, but, you know, this is, uh, turned it, you know, with social media, What's happening with, with, with all of these people, be it uh, targeted individuals or alien abductees or uh, whatever, that, uh, you know, the, all of these fucking crazy people are, are, are finding each other and it, and it validates their, their fucking craziness. Uh, you know, but I'm, but I, I'm watching this shit, you know, with these near-death experience people and these targeted individuals and shit, and, and I'm wondering to myself, you, you know, how many people were just watching Sandy and Jennifer, uh, over at, uh, over at the goddamn, uh, over at Environmental Coffee House, you know, talking about the goddamn methane bomb blowing and killing us all and shit. How many people who are not doomers uh, throw doomers into the same fucking loop? I, I'm just wondering how many people on this planet, uh, you know, would lump uh, Sandy and Jennifer and, and all of the people in the chat box, of course, including me, uh, w with, with these goddamn lunatics. And, and, and my guess is a shitload of people uh, heard uh, the, these doomers talking their doom and gloom shit, and, and they may as well be listening to some fucking targeted individual uh, thinking that some goddamn black helicopter is following them around, uh, shooting goddamn directed energy beams into the fucking implants up their ass. Uh, and I don't know. You know? Uh, we're all fucking lunatics. But anyway... This lunatic is going to a multi-family garage sale to buy some more of this planet-eating shit while I still can. I highly suggest you get out there and buy some of this planet-eating clueless moron shit while you still can. Bye, guys.